a family gathering coming up soon, maybe a major milestone that you'd like to play some photos in a slideshow. Or maybe you're just at home and you'd enjoy seeing your pictures in a slideshow on your computer screen when you're not using it. Isn't it wonderful to look at your old family memories? Like, I enjoy looking at them because I forget so many of the things I've done in life and it brings back such good feelings for the most part. We're gonna talk about a really simple way for you to watch a slideshow on your computer. Hi, I'm Molly Bartelt, a photo estate planner with Pixology. We are your go-to experts in evaluating photo saving apps, tools, software, anything that can help you save a memory, we probably have an opinion on. We also provide motivation because your photo collection, working with it is like a lifelong journey. You keep making memories, you keep taking pictures, and you've got to do something to save the good ones and enjoy them. A photo slideshow is a perfect example of how you can enjoy some of your old family memories. Now, at my company, Pixology, which we're in Milwaukee, we usually recommend that people organize their photos, whether they're printed pictures or they're digital pictures. It makes making a slideshow a little easier, but sometimes you don't have time for that. You've got a collection of photos and you just wanna play a slideshow. I'm gonna show you one of the simplest ways to watch a slideshow on your Windows PC. The first thing you're gonna do is open the Windows File Explorer and go to your Pictures folder. You're gonna see here that I have a folder titled 1940s. And this is a, a folder of pictures from one of our clients who lets us share. And it's pictures of her, her parents back when they were in medical school. And they were actually color slides in the 1940s. So I'll double click the first picture, which launches the Photos app. This is an app that comes on your Windows 10 PC. And once it's open, you can take your cursor and go up to the right hand corner where there are three dots. Click that and select slideshow. It's that easy. Your computer will now play these pictures in a slideshow and you can see these really colorful images from back in the day. And oh, my client was so happy to see her slides and unfortunately her parents are no longer here, but it really takes you back in time. All right, I'm gonna show you one more trick so that you could see more than just one folder's pictures. So we're looking at the pictures folder now I've added another folder called 2019 Spain. I'm going to go to the search bar there and type in JPEG. That pulled up every JPEG that was in the pictures folder. You can do this and it could take a while if you have a lot of folders of pictures, but it's showing all of them now. And I double click that first one, go to those three dots, click slideshow, and now all of my photos will play that showed up when I searched for JPEG. If you want to know more about the Photos app and slideshows, click the link up above because I did a video a while back on how to use it for editing videos and creating slideshows. This means you could actually create a slideshow, export it, put it on a jump drive, and give it to one of your family members or friends to enjoy. Photos can make you laugh and cry and, and so much more. It's so much fun when you're walking through the house and you see a photo slideshow playing on your computer or maybe on another device even. It really warms the heart and if you do have people over, they will enjoy seeing the memories too. That is just one way to watch a slideshow of your family photos. Do you create slideshows? Leave a comment below. We'd love to hear what you do and it might help someone else. Making a photo slideshow is just one part of the journey we have with working on our family photo collection. If you need help with this, we definitely have links below 
that talk about how to organize and preserve family photos. I have a book on Amazon. And we have other videos that might help you in your process of saving family memories and your family legacy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And that's it for now. We will see you the next time. Thank you.